Gidley went on the road uh, to take on two very tough tennis teams last week, and the first one in Nebraska. Tell us what happened. Very close match. Well, we played Creighton and uh, beat them 5-2, and then from the Big East, and then we turned around the very next day and played Nebraska and fell short 4-3. We won the doubles point, um, which was really significant. We won it one and two doubles again, and our three doubles is right there doing the things they need to be doing. So super pleased with our doubles. So really good situation going into the singles. Um, TJ Fumagalli wins in straight sets at number one, so her – her three years that she's competed at Nebraska, she's never lost a set. So pretty impressive to, to win all three years at number one doubles and, and two of the three years at number one singles. So so same thing, put us in great great shape. Um, we had a freshman, uh, Sydney Fitch, winning straight sets at number six. So we're looking really good. And uh, we had two matches left on the court and needed to win one. And they were both really tight. And we just could not convert at the very end. But – you know, the effort was right there, and um, we're still working on some things um, with the players, with our lineups of know where we're at, but um, it was it was a fun match. Yeah. So tell me, what do you learn? I know the ladies last year were rolling through these teams and, and winning all these, these matches, and this year you get a loss early on here. Is that going to be more motivating for them? Definitely. We're a lot more hungry. And uh, obviously, when we started off losing to Denver, I was like, okay, this is, this is where I get to do my best work. This is where, you know, we get to recover and go from there. And uh, they re re have rebounded very well. So they're learning opportunities. Uh, we're a young team, a, you know, a mix of young and old and about half and half. And so having those opportunities to be in those situations early on and, and say, man, this is where we want to be and what do we need to continue to work on is, is pretty significant for us this time of the season. Speaking of what you need to continue to work on, you have uh, no matches this week. So what, what do you think your team needs to work on mostly this week? Well, some of it's rest and recovery already. Um, you know, when we're uh, doing rollouts on the uh, hard tennis courts, <laughs> it's a little bit significant. We've, we've already got some kids banged up from that. Um, it's such a long season. We, you know, we compete so long in the fall. We have about a month break, and then we turn around and we compete basically for four months straight. So when we can have a free weekend, we're going to use that basically for rest for our body, for recovery. And if we can get that recovery, um, then we're going to be fresh and ready to go. All right, Kim Gidley, thanks for the time. Go Blue.